Sir, Thanks. thank you so much for talking with us. Uh, there are all sorts of uh, rumors afloat that the U.S. will be working with Morocco in helping it achieve some of its reforms. You met with uh, Secretary of State today. Can you tell us anything about the visit? Any specifics? First, uh, we have long-standing ties. And beyond this historical uh, relationship, uh, we decide today to establish uh, a new strategic partnership, comprehensive one, and we decide to uh, to work on the uh, action-oriented basis and looking to the future. In this context, the uh, USA appreciate the evolution in Morocco and this balancing approach, uh, economic and social development in one in one leg, but also in parallel which is a necessity, uh, a political progress. And they applaud to the initiative taken by His Majesty recently to take the momentum to propose an important, audacious and avant-gardist uh, constitutional reform. Could you tell me, uh, there are those who say that if His Majesty were serious about reform, he might have invited some members of the opposition or the February 20th coalition uh, to participate in, in drafting some of those amendments. What's your comment to that? We have many political parties in Morocco. We have a very vigorous uh, civil society and trade unions. and. Uh, uh, the process start uh, three days ago and everyone is invited to contribute and to participate to this debate. What is important is the methodology. First, an inclusive approach and uh, everyone is invited to contribute. The large majority of the main political parties participate in trade unions and many NGOs and it NGOs including youth and then because of the His Majesty fixed the bar high in terms of reforms then I am sure that there will be a large large uh, enthusiast and a large uh, majority of people will vote in favor of this uh, reform. Now the referendum is still slated for June? Yes. It he talked in his speech, His Majesty, about boosting moral integrity. Uh, I think that was a kind of an allusion, if I'm not wrong, to some of the scandals that we've read about in the newer freer press. Uh, will His Majesty be willing to dismiss or take some sort of action against those at the highest levels who have been accused, at least allegedly, of exploiting their offices for personal gain? No, no. Uh, Morocco put its fingers on corruptions, on justice reforms, on transparency many years ago, and we work hard in respect of our law to, to go forward in this specific area. And, uh, for example, an uh, advanced status with the European Union, or also the FTA with USA, beyond trade, beyond investment, uh, is the transparency, is the rules of game, is the uh, uh, protection of the private initiative. And then it, it, it showed that during the next month, with these reforms, we will, uh, it will be the concretization and institutionalization of all uh, this, this, uh, of all this reform on this specific field. I insist: anti-corruption, transparency. One last question, because I know you're in a hurry. Uh, uh, King Hamad mentioned that he would enshrine the divergent population of Morocco. Uh, he specifically mentioned the Amazigh. Can we possibly expect, uh, as they have asked, for their language to be officially recognized? Everything is open for the debate. But what is important is that His Majesty talk about this and said that it's, uh, it's time to integrate this, the reality of all Moroccans. Uh, and the Amazigh is it's something important because 
uh, we have uh, Arab reality, we have Jew reality, but we have important Amazigh reality. And it's important not only in terms of minority, I don't like this word, but just to assume and to assure uh, this importance of the source of our identity. Mr. Fassi Fihri, thank you so much for talking with the Voice of America.